Hello. This is a a bike trailer I've been working on. It's basically one of these kiddies trailers you get for riding the kids around. And to me that is probably the best way to build a trailer for hauling your stuff because these trailers are you couldn't actually make a trailer as light as that as as the chassis you get on them. This one's got chromed steel wheels, sixteen inch wheels. And this trailer's probably been used two or three times and then put in the shed and just left there. And to buy them new you're looking about 150 quid for these kiddie trailers and they can take a weight well the safety weight is like 38 kilos but that's a safety weight for kids you could probably put easily put 50 kilos on it mind you I don't know if I'd like to try and stop in, in a rush with a, a trailer with 50 kilos on it so, or if you've not got an e-bike, you're not going to pull 50 kilos up big hills. And if you are, it's not going to be easy. So the idea about making this trailer was, I was going to convert one of my bikes into an e-bike. And then I could shift a load of gear that I couldn't possibly shift on my bike. But big awkward things. Like my bow tent, like tools, step ladders, that sort of stuff. And this big black box that's on it, that's a 175 litre waterproof box. Be ideal for putting your shop in if you're doing quite a large shop. So a trailer's got endless uses. Lots of stuff that you couldn't possibly get on your bike if you get in a trailer. It doesn't need to be heavy things, it could be big, bulky, light, awkward things that you could shove on your trailer. So that's the idea uh, about the trailer. Ideally, it would be better if you, if I did convert my bike, one of my bikes into an e-bike to help me up the hills. I would only use it to help me up the hills. You don't need to use power on the flat and you certainly don't need to use it going down hills. So I would use it to get me up the hills if I had a, a bit of a heavy load. And going camping, with that big box, you could get a load of things in there that you couldn't get in your bags. Uh, you could take your, your pal stuff in, in the big box, uh, you could take you could take a lot of different things. So that's the idea of a trailer. So I, what I did, I just took the covers off it, and I've added an aluminium deck. I drilled some holes in it, uh, so I could put the tubing back in, uh, just for support so you can tie things on it and I can also use that as a ladder rack to put my step ladder up against it'd be pointing forward I've also added some spoke protectors side panels just in case anything that was on the deck slid into the spokes uh, I was actually thinking of putting some mud guards on it but I've not decided whether I'll do that or not so it's an, alum an aluminium deck Aluminium side panels. I'm going to put an aluminium sort of uh, tailgate on it, make some hinges and put a wee tailgate on it. That'd give you an extra six inches uh, of room to lie stuff on. And that, uh, you can all put, put a tailgate down, you can put longer items on. So the trailer comes in at 30, well, just under 30 pounds. I know some of these trailers you, you buy 
the, the Rover 30 pounds because you've got an extra rail that runs on the outside of the wheel. Uh, you can weigh 16 and a half kilos, some of these trailers. But this isn't one of the models, this is just a model without the, the outside rails. And they're a wee bit lighter. But £30 is still £30 before you put in on your trailer that you're going to have to pull up hills. So, yeah, an e bike would be the way, I think. If you're only taking, if you're only taking a light load, maybe 10 kilos or so, 15 kilos, I think you would manage it, no problem at hills. But if you're taking a heavier load, 30, 40 kilos, I think getting up big hills it would be a bit of work, good bit of work. So, when I start my e-bike build, I'll make sure to put it on video. So, until then, thanks for watching the trailer and I'll see you all in the next video. Au revoir.